Hello everyone, it's Gam back with another Caribbean Legends episode. I'm sailing towards Kirakau. My logbook just updated as I went into sea mode. The Meifeng is here, in the harbor, but still no sign of Longway himself. He didn't even sail to Dominica. That's odd. Hmm? Alright, that is odd. Are you fucking joking? Reputation with the Dutch Improver and I'm doing the Dutch Gambit for the Dutch, please, for fuck's sake. This game. Yeah, look, Mayfeng. Oh no. You're just who we need, buddy. <laughs> it's our responsibility to be on guard. We fooled them. Okay. This music rocks. You got a brilliant career. I was informed of your arrival, Captain. I see that the Mirage is safely docked. This is good. It was all by your instructions, Minier. You ordered me to kill Fleetwood and he is dead. You ordered me to bring the Mirage back to the local port and she is here. You have returned, Captain. Do you have Richard Fleetwood's logbook? I did. Here it is. I managed to board the Valkyrie, although it was a near run thing. The bastard fired his magazine of his ship and blew it sky high. We barely got away with our lives. Excellent. You are a very capable, a capable man. If all of our captains were like you, the Dutch Republic would be the first among the greatest maritime nations of history. Here is your reward. A hundred thousand pesos and fifty thousand extra for the logbook. I am taking the Mirage from you. You are going to return this ship to England. What the devil? She's a fine ship. I wanted to keep her. England? Isn't it Holland? My boy, you are an excellent soldier. But trust me in my experience in the matter of politics. Remember what I said about Fleetwood? I am going to nail his name and repetition to a millstone and fling it to, into the depths. And these arrogant nobles from Port Royal will have to swallow and choke. Maybe it's actually England. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, so he's gonna bring this ship to England. Okay, whatever. All right. We're going to make Richard Fleetwood the captain of the ghost ship Mirage, a werewolf playing two nation, the two nations of England and the Netherlands of each other, plundering, pillaging, and murdering peaceful citizens of both just to make himself rich. What a travesty! I have already prepared evidence and witnesses, but the Mirage will serve as the main event of my perfect play. Well, fuck me then. You're going to sacrifice my excellent ship for your plan? Watch your tongue, boy. This is war. Sometimes we must sacrifice not only men, but ships and wealthy settlements to achieve our political aims. Every war comes with losses. Speaking of losses, I have very bad news for you. While you were gone, Willemstad was attacked by English privateers. The fort managed to chase them off, but not before they got into the harbour with fire ships. Your ship was caught at harbour and burnt down to the waterline. She's a total loss. Mid here, you have to be fucking kidding me right now. Damn it all to hell. What will I do now? Don't be so upset, Capitain. I also have good news. To salvage your indignation, I'm giving you my beautiful wind. The Civic Meifeng. Meifeng is basically just beautiful wind in Chinese. Uh, you are free to you or in Mandarin actually. You are free to use the ship in any way you want within reason. Additionally, meet me tomorrow in the governor's residence. You have been nominated for a state award with the gratitude of the Dutch Republic and the West India Company. Don't leave the town until you, re until you receive it, Capitain. That does take the sting out of my losses a bit. I am honored. And by the way, Minhir, where has Longway gone? Longway suddenly disappeared right after I ordered him to sail to Dominica. I have suspicions that English agents have set upon him. Or perhaps not. I am investigating. I see. His help at Dominica would have been most welcome. Fleetwood and his Valkyrie made a fearsome pet knot. Whatever. I hope that Longway is still alive. Plot signs been here. Will I gain my reputation when I go for the ceremony? Please. Okay, whatever. Any any new purse ship abilities, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yes, okay. I'm giving you this. I 
imagine our passenger has a personal ability because we've been keeping him in our on our ship for that so long. Okay. Alright. You got a brilliant career ahead of you, Captain. Let's start selling stuff. I've got the best products around. Oh we we should have sold our stuff before we met it, but whatever, it doesn't matter anyways, I don't give a fuck. Like for real, I actually don't give a fuck. How many sailors do we have? I'm guessing we have a max crew. That was a lot of money spent on rum itself. Uh, we need cannonballs, bro. We don't need them any grape shot as well. Or chain shot. Bombs, we can reduce it to just double, I guess. Although I don't, I don't really sink ships. I usually capture them in this game because sinking ships takes a long time. Okay, I do have a max crew. Nice we Oh my god! Yo, this is good. You know what? I'm gonna fuck the English. I'm gonna stay with the Dutch. Wine, thank you very much. Okay, let me start to sell. I have nothing to sell to you. But as for you, I have a lot. This, 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 this. Oh yeah, we have a good spyglass. Now we shall equip it. Save the game. Let's sell our regular spyglass. Let's get another ship compass just for good measure. Uh, okay, I'm keeping that. I'll give this a teaching get to have a lot of gunpowder. And I'm gonna sell all these stuff to you. There are a lot of fighter jets. Go to the money lender, sell even more stuff. That's Lucas Furtenberg. Uh, always says. Sorry, as Lucas wouldn't, but always says, time is money. Okay, so he said governor's residence. Let's hope that you don't get screwed. I don't think we will, anyways. Oh, it's, it's a cutscene. I'm not moving. You made the right choice, me Captain Charles de Moore, for, uh, for eliminating Richard Fleetwood, a dangerous state criminal, for exposure of treacherous English conspiracy against the Republic, for bravery and courage, you are awarded with 1,000 <laughs> gold doubloons on behalf of the Dutch Republic. You are also to. You're, you also are to receive this valuable navigation tool, the dream of any military sailor. I am happy to serve the Republic. Uh, what? Matthias Beck, Holland is proud of you, Midyear. Captains like you are the backbone of the Dutch fleet in the Caribbean. Here you are. Please accept your reward. Thank you, Midyear. I am honored to serve Holland. Let's go! Our bounty is gone! Congre congratulations again, my friend, and please visit me in a week. We need you for an exceedingly delicate matter. Understood, Minhir Rodenberg. I'll visit you in a week. Let's go! Whoops, I sent the. Oh, what am I doing? I can't move. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, I've been teleported back here. Money! I know my way around them like nobody else. So now I'm super overloaded. I am super. I have a thousand doubloons. 
I'm just curious, is my brigantine still here? I'm all ears. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. We've now we are now captains of the we are now a captain of the Mayfeng and we have this ship which we are going to sell. Let me go to port first actually. It's now no nasty bounty hunters are gonna come after us. So yes, the most profitable uh, quest is probably for the Dutch. Look at that shit. And we're not even done with the mission yet, by the way, so that we have even more rewards waiting for us. Very good, very good. I have chosen, and this is the puzzle, we can equip it later. A spine biter do. Ooh, it'll make your crew away and respect the captain. Flash. <laughs> Jesus. That's quite brutal, I would say, but okay. Uh, let's give Teaching it to his stuff. Why is he not using this? This here, yes. Ah, you need some healing potions. I will give it to you. Okay, I think all's good. Let's cut up. Let's craft this. To sell our ship. Ships are like people. Every one of them has a soul of their own. Money is ours. Let me get my guy back. Was there an audio thingy happening? Well, let me get this guy, Basil, Basil Stokes, back. Guys have the water at a stone. Yeah, okay, good. So he said go back to him in a week. Oh, why is he regaining his energy? Well, I guess because of the ship penalties. Okay. Whatever, let's go hunt some people. At least now that we're all good. Oh, wait, my France is. My Registrate France is also excellent. Any Spaniards waiting to die? Quest ship. Okay, it's a friend or not. What is this ship used for? 
I think my career is moving up just fine. Okay. That's too many, I, I can't be bothered. War Schooner is a class 4 ship, our ship is also a class 4 ship, but then we are, okay, well, our guns are not loaded, but we are way better than him. Look at how maneuverable our ship is, Jesus Christ, oh my god, okay. Oh, yes, we are out of range. It's okay, I'm gonna sail up to you and destroy you anyways. What are you sailing at? Fu oh, semi coverings. Look at that, we are like, we have like double its speed, almost. Bro, stop sailing where you're, you're fucked. Okay, you hit me, uh, that's it. You're fucked. Honestly, I, I don't even need to kill his crew, I can just board him straight away. He has like, what, 90 crew compared to my freaking 144 now. Hello. I... Fuck. I was too fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a that was a mistake, but uh, it's okay. I'm not even gonna loot. That you're weak. You're dead. You he shot me. What the frick? Cheater! 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 off this guy, I don't even care if you hit me. Oh, I have a whip. I shall use it, because I have... That is required for the recipe of... Uh, in the recipe... Oh, I have another whip. No more whips. Take all. I lost barely any crew, but my sails are... Okay, I'm not even gonna bother selling this ship. Screw you. Or bow, how is our bow doing? Hey, what is... Oh my god. This is gone. Let's sail. So when was the thing? 6 April, it was only 3 days. Our ship, and I'm pretty sure that's already be a day gone. Then we just rest in the tavern for two more days. That's our ship. He sells for a hundred thousand. You joking? Shapes are like people. Every one of them has a soul of their own. Add crew space. Uh, Jesus, there's a lot of. They're all the same paints. Screw you. So it was Saint Pierre. Okay, it looks like it's um I have to return it to Saint Pierre. We'll do just that actually. Bro is dead. Yeah, y'all you you all can fight them, I'm just gonna go loot. I still have a thousand health. Anyways, because of the purse. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna lose that purse, right? I mean... Look at, look at this, how are we losing? They're all so weak. We freaking, we freaking killed Van Berg and Richard Fleetwood, come on. Oh, there was a plant on his chair. gonna taunt him. You're not the owner, son. Nice try. Oh, I got a lot of stuff. Tick, tick, tick. Plant. Uh, no, I don't want to loot this shit. Gold doubloons. Okay, this is a better loot than the previous time. But there's no whip.
this all stops. You have to become the captain again. I will give you some sailors. Actually, let me just give you a bit more. You have food, you have medicine, you're good to go. Hello, I'm here to sell a trombone and stocko to you. You have a hanged man. Stop on by. Wait. The best products in the colony. I found a way to earn profit. Can't we just use a ship's compass and the other thing we craft them and then we just sell? We just keep doing it. We can sell for double the price of what, for what we've bought. What the frick? But it's gonna take very long because it's not that often that those items exist in uh, these merchants, within these merchants, anyways. But good way to earn profit. Let's get more of these because you can use, you can, once you have the alchemy skill, you can. Use them for good stuff. No, I don't want to sell these. Okay, this. Very well. Our dockyards are the envy of all our competitors. Oh, uh, whoops! Wrong. Ah, good spikes. See, they all like me as well. Ships. Let me just uh, Oh yeah, I forgot to remember my sailors as well. Better get my sailors back. No, I didn't. Yes, you remove, we sell. Then we go to you. Hello, I have this ship that has nothing for you. I'm all in. Don't ask me why. Yes, money is mine. I'm back to being a Hidalgo. I think I'm a true nobleman. Okay, anyways. Um. Alright, let's hack a little bit. There's vanilla as well, right? Yes. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I should have went to the tavern first. Circle and four, refreshing beverage. Goes okay, I wanted to grab a master. I meant to go to the store, I guess. Alright, let's hack a little bit. Okay, I realize you can press K. Uh, to 
you know. Oh, we have a puzzle as well. We can, we can press K to craft. That saves a lot of time. What did I go to? What am I doing? Okay. We start to rest our health as well. actually our cells are a bit fucked our dockyards are the envy of all our competitors Hercule. Okay. Let me get Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre Mola. Okay, I need yours. I want. I need your services. Thank you very much. Then now I shall head back to Kirakau. Wait. We talk to Michelle. You're going the wrong way, like, isn't that that way is definitely faster, but whatever. Got any news, brother? I'm already sick. Okay. Safety of the town is a serious task. The fuck? Is it a week? Oh, it's oh, okay. Never mind. I guess we'll just rest for one more day. Uh, also, let's get this guy back in his post. We just teleported here out of nowhere. You want to find cuisine better than ours around. Is he using a harp? No, he's using a battle axe. West India Company. More like a run, but who cares? Hello. You've got a brilliant career ahead of you, Captain. 
He said a week later, right? Okay, more like... Okay, whatever. It's another officer. Purser, you're a villain. Screw you. Any other officers? No. You wanna find the QZ in battle? You wanna find the QZ? Since my current officers are too unmotivated, I think because they're too low level. So they are too scared because we are moving up in the world and they're not. Let's go. Uh, here you are, good to see you. I have another mission for you, just as promised. I'm listening, Min here. Let me tell you a story. It'll help you to understand how delicate your next task is. A few months ago, a flute sailing the English flat on, uh, flag en route to Wittemstead was attacked by the late Jacob Van Berg. He took the ship and scuttled it not far from an island, not on any of our maps. Only two of our passengers, only two of the passengers on the flute survived. A Jew named Solomon Schnorr and her and his daughter Abigail. We know we know who they are. Uh, all the other passengers perished, including the rest of their family. Well, our two Jews reached the island by floating on some wreckage. Solomon even managed to drag a chest filled with family gold with them. Very thrifty of him. And another, another a character of our story, Richard Fleetwood, was sailing nearby and heard the sounds of fight on of fighting. He arrived too late to catch Van Berg and the Mirage fled. Fleetwood decided to check the island for any survivors. He saved Solomon and Abigail from certain death on the desert island. Unfortunately for the old Jew, Solomon does not have a sailor's eye. He mistook Richard's Valkyrie for Jacob's Mirage and terrified and terrified the pirate was returning to finish the job, stashed his gold somewhere on the island. As a result, he and his daughter arrived here without a penny, dropped off by Fleetwood at Blanca Lagoon near Willemstead, their original destination. Solomon told me this story. The Dutch Republic supports the free practice of religion, and as a part of the policy, the company supports the Jewish community here. Therefore, I made sure that they have a roof over their heads, things to eat and wear. I visit, I always, I visit their place a lot. Abigail is a remarkable young woman, sincere and trusting. I won't lie to you, Captain. I want her, and I intend to make her my wife. She loves me in return, but something has come between us. Her father is not too enthusiastic about a Goyim son-in-law. Ha! <laughs> Old Solomon would be in the seventh heaven if I married Abigail. Uncircumcised son-in-law or not. As a matter of fact, he pushes her to accept my proposal. No, no, this is something that goes beyond Jew and Gentile. I ask you, my boy, to solve this problem for me. Talk to Abigail and find out what's wrong. You're a stranger? She might tell you things she wouldn't tell familiar people because of charming modesty. There are houses to the left of the governor's palace. I know that you're a smooth talker. But remember one thing, Richard Fleetwood was the true captain of the ghost ship. Keep that, keep that in mind while talking to Abigail. Huh, sure remember that, Minheer Rodenberg. Isn't that the officially recognized fact after all? I won't waste time then. I'll go pay your beloved visit a visit immediately. Yeah, so history is written by the victors. Okay. Somehow I forgot where the house is. Never mind, it's not. The dialogue is not updated. Don't move a mass. Spain. 
Why, why spin? Spain? What, since when did that happen? That was very weird, but okay. That's a very beautiful house. Get where that house is. I literally visited them not long ago. Oh, I'm trolling, I'm actually trolling. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's that one, right? Yeah. So, um. Am I getting something out of this? Or did I miss something? You don't have any bedroom news for me. There's people in the past just barge into people's homes like that. Okay, anyways. Good day, Min here. What brings you to our home? Good day, Abigail. My name is Charles de Maul. I'm a captain working for the good of the Republic in the Dutch West Indian Company. An honor to meet you, Captain Charles de Maul. I've heard a lot of stories about you from the other lazy ladies in town. You are the man who just captured the pirate ghost ship and brought it as a, brought, brought it as a prize to Willemstad. Tell me, Captain. Is it true that this ship was under the command of Richard Fleetwood? Everything you heard is true, madame. I was as shocked as anyone to find out the truth. It's a scandal. A naval officer of the English Commonwealth plundering merchants of his own nation like a common pirate. That scoundrel you tried to cloak his dastardly deeds by pretending to be a renegade ghost ship under the backing of the Dutch West India Company. He used this cover to blame the company and attack Dutch ships as, Dutch ships as well. My head is spinning. It is hard to hear such horrible things, Captain. I knew Richard Fleetwood personally. I never thought that he, Madame. I am informed by my patron Lucas Rodenberg about your voyage to Curacao from Recife. Now it is clear. Fleetwood sunk your ship and then he returned to save you and your father from being marooned on that lost island. I read the pirate's journal myself. He recorded every detail in his logbook. What a nightmare. It seems like it seems that my papa was right after all. He's been telling me that Richard was that pirate who was the source of all of our misfortune. I should be glad that the truth has gotten out. Ah, I'm very sorry, Captain. It's just too much for me to, for me to take in for my poor head. What, what does such an important man like you want from a common girl? Abigail, I'm here because of a very complicated and delicate matter. Will you listen to me? Of course, I'm in here. I'm all ears. Like I said, I serve the company. Lucas Rodenberg is not only my military commander, but a good friend as well. He sent me to you with a message. It would be the greatest happiness for you to consent to his proposal of marriage. I am here to ask you to marry my patron. He is ready to do every anything in the world for your happiness. Oh, Captain, I see you now why Min Yeo Runenberg wasn't ready to do, it, do that himself. My poor papa would be overjoyed, but I, madame, I can see that something is bothering you. Do you doubt Min Yeo Runenberg's sincerity? Perhaps I can help you change your mind? Oh no, Captain, I have no doubt of Min Yeo Runenberg's sincerity. Lucas has done so much for me and my papa. I don't know what would happen to us if he wasn't looking out for us. But please, you must understand my position. My family are no Rothschilds, but we've never been poor. The Schnorr family is well known among the banking houses of Europe for our fortune. But now this dreadful pirate has ruined us. I can't abide this nasty gossip that I know goes on behind our back, not any longer. Every judgment housewife and servant girl in the town thinks that I'm only after Midia Rodenberg for his money. How much like a Jewess, they say. The cruel witches. Uh, if only my father remi remembered the location of the island. He stashed what remains of our family fortune there to save it from the, uh, the hands of those wicked pirates who murdered my sisters and my brother. But my poor father is no sailor. He simply can't remember where that island is and... And of course our family money. Please talk to my father, Captain. Maybe he can recall anything that can be useful to your seasoned senses. Please find that island and our fortune. 
you will have saved a poor girl from shame and ignominy. Very well. I will speak with your father. Have faith. Go, I'll do what I can. Thanks, Manjaro, before you did night and day. May the God of our fathers be with you. Farewell, farewell, I'll come with good news. Blah, 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 blah. And isn't that... That's a tavern room. That's basically an upgraded tavern room. Lol. Am I getting something out of this? What do you want from this old Jew, young man? Solomon, I need you to think hard and remember the lost island that you shipwrecked on. You hit a stash, you hit a stash there. I've talked with your daughter. My boss, Lucas Rudenberg, gave me carte blanche, blanche to act for the good of your family. As I see it, it is the most important thing for you at this moment is retrieving your family's capital and you're not getting a sniff of that gold without my help. And what do you want from me? Do I look like a man who knows anything? How can I know that on such a godforsaken day exactly where that where, where that plot of land with goods and gold fee for taking for taking whatever the hell that this sentence is I've lost myself imagine how any of the gentiles out there walking the streets want to outwit a Jew like me and take my money there is an island not a single man there except Abby and me not a single one no one at all there was a grotto in the middle of it I put my chest there to save it from that pirate Goyim Al Amalek a chest filled with gold, not a church K along it. I schlepped it all the way from the old country. Everything I had earned through the sweat of my brow is there. Plus my grandfather's skull, trust me, that thing saved us. Yes, yes. Oh ho ho, it's an it is an ancient talisman loaded with Talmudic magic. God save us from Amalek. Oive. It is difficult to start over in this age of the Gentiles. I wish you knew, young men. Oh I wish you knew. What on earth are you babbling about, you lunatic? Who cares, I'll deal with it on my own. Bye. So we'll find the Joachim Merriman. Good day, sir. I'm Dr. Joachim Merriman. Do I have the pleasure of addressing of, of addressing Captain Charles de Mont? Aye, that's me. How the devil do you know my name? I don't recall meeting you before. Our affairs are not so private as you may believe, Captain. But don't be alarmed, I have a proposition for you. I am a man of science, a natural philosopher of sorts, and studying the fascinating culture of the Indian pagans of the Spanish Main and the West Indies. Would you be so kind as would you be so kind to walk with me to my house and discuss the potentially very prof profitable details in my sitting room? You have my curiosity and my attention. Lead the way. You will not reject this, sir. Uh, my far is my house is not far from here. Follow me. Okay, so we have to actually follow him. Without fear of prying ears, you have been recently visiting my neighbor Solomon Schnorr. I was walking by and you must forgive me, Captain. Accidentally caught some of the details with your talk with Solomon. It was all so fascinating that I had to listen to the whole thing. And by the way, his house was a walk across the entire colony. Death's gotta put his house closer, but whatever. An eavesdropper who is afraid of other eavesdroppers, eh? Now, now, Captain. It's not like that at all. Solomon is my neighbor and he often visits me. We are good friends despite our religious differences. I know all about his misadventures, just like everyone else in Willemstad. Solomon proclaims his, tr proclaims his troubles to anyone who will listen morning, noon, and night. But enough of that. The old Jew must have told you already about an old jade skull that which is stashed along with his gold on some unknown island. Did he tell about it? He did tell me about a skull, but he didn't mention it being made of jade. He also said it was the skull of his grandfather. To tell the truth, I thought it was either some Kabbalistic horror or his, or the old coot, or the old coot has some bets in the belfry. No, Captain. Solomon is quite sane, just eccentric. The skull does exist. It is an in ancient Indian treasure, the jade skull of Yum Kimil. I have no idea how the old Jew got his talons on it. I've been looking at it for half of my life. Search for that island where Solomon stashed his family money. The skull must be in there in the chest. Deliver the jade skull, jade skull to me and I'll pay you half a million pesos, which is a lot. 
half a half a million. Uh, half a thousand. That's hardly worth my time. Wait, did you just say half a million pieces of eight? Are you kidding me? I've never seen all that money. We literally have more than that. <laughs> I've never seen all that money together in one place all in my life. You're still a young man, Captain. So, are you in? You give me the jade. You give me the jade skull, and I'll give you five hundred thousand pieces of eight in return. Deal? Huh? A fortune for an old skull? Of course I'm in. Splendid. It is always a pleasure to work with a man who understands profit. You can find me here in my house if you need me further. Good luck. Thank you, Dr. Merryman. I won't make you wait for too long. Who's this? What do you mean he doesn't live here anymore? He's literally upstairs. Dutch Gambit. I met some Portuguese named Joaquim Merryman. He offered me to follow him inside his house and have a talk. He's aware about Solomon's cash and promised to pay me half a million pesos for some jade skull. It seems that Solomon has hidden his treasures on the island, which location I have learned from Fleetwoods and Fanberg's logbooks. I should go in my cabin, I will manage to locate the island. Okay, okay, okay. It's the same freaking stupid shit. So I guess I'll end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys... Okay, that's enough. In the next episode... Goodbye.